everybody and welcome to another Minecraft Bedrock tutorial. Yay! Today we are making the impossible because we're making Mumbo Jumbo's impossible piston feed tape. So what's the difference between an impossible piston feed tape and a regular one? Well a regular piston feed tape has two corners missing. Now it has that because then the blocks get cycled round into those corners and then the other blocks get pushed into the space where those other blocks used to be. But with an impossible piston feed tape, you don't have any air blocks at all. It is a solid square of blocks which have to get cycled round. Now, just before we get into this tutorial, I just want to say the original design credit does go to Mumbo Jumbo. But of course, our redstone is completely different, as you're about to see. Now, this is the design that I came up with. Now, as you can see, the design is just tiny. <laughs> it's so, so, so small and very nice and compact. It's probably going to be the smallest uh, impossible feed tape for bedrock or joint smallest. I can't see how anyone could make it smaller than this. And it's nice and quick too, as we can press this button here. See how blocks get cycled around in a clockwise direction. What's the red, that's going there. And that'll be the top left. So it's getting uh, cycled around and everything works very nice, as you can tell. Now you may be thinking, well, that's very good, but what can I actually use it for? Well, you can actually use it as a colour combination lock like we have here. So at the moment, our lock is wrong, so our door is closed. Now, if we want to get it right, we just need to follow what's on the door. So grey in the bottom left, so I need to press this twice. So once, and then twice, and you'll see our door opens. Very nice. And then when we press this to get it wrong, our door will close. Now this works because we have a second piston feed tape underneath, which is basically a memory lock. So when this furnace gets to here, which is when that grey is there, <laughs> then a comparator will take an output which will open our door. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a tutorial on this first, and then at the end I'll just show you how you can add your own memory feed tape so you can wire up a door if you really like. Okay. On with the video. Oh, and by the way, if you want that 3x3 spiral door, there's a link in the description to a very good YouTube channel where you can get that. It's mine, by the way. <laughs> so, for this fantastic build, you're going to need six sticky pistons. No, they're regular. Six sticky pistons. Ah, that's twice! Six regular pistons, Yay! ten sticky pistons, five observers, three repeaters, four redstone torches, seven redstone dust, one redstone block, one wooden button, it must be wooden, 21 blocks for redstone to go on, eight blocks to go in your piston feed tape itself, and then however many blocks you need for decoration. Okay, to start, you want to place one decoration block in the middle of your piston feed tape, like this. So this block here is that block there, and we need a wooden button on it. Like I said in the list, you need a wooden button. Okay, it cannot be stone. Okay, after you've done that, place a sticky piston down like that, and then on the face of that sticky piston, we want a block of redstone. Then on the side of this block of redstone, we want four sticky pistons, and they should extend one, two, three, and four. Then in the corners, we want four more sticky pistons, but these ones should not extend. Two, three, and four. Then underneath this piston here, we want to grab a regular piston, and place it in any in any orientation, left or right, like that, and then a torch here. Then you want to grab a block, place one here, one here, and then two more, like that, four like this, one, two, three, four, two up here, and then remove these two, one, two. Then we want dust on these three, one, two, and three. On this block, going toward this block here, we want a repeater on one tick delay. And then on this block, going toward this one, we need a repeater, but on three tick delay. So place it down, then place it, press it twice. One, two. So that's three tick delay there. Okay, then place a block here, one here, and then have a long line like this. And go around to this piston here. Then we need a block here, here, here and here. And now we can remove these blocks like this. One, two, three. Okay, you got that so far? Not going too quick. <laughs> then we need dust here. Then we need a repeater 
on one tick. We should be going from this block to this one. And then from this block to this one, we need another repeater again on one tick. Then two bits of dust like this. One and two. Okay, now that you've done that, grab a sticky piston and place it here like that and it should extend. Then place a torch on the side of that piston which should turn off. Then we want a regular piston and we want to place it here, so going toward this piston. Then grab another regular piston and place it here. Okay, then grab an observer, place it up from that dust so the dot should be facing upward, and then observer facing like this. On the dot of that observer we want a piston going toward the middle. Then on this piston we want a torch, then an observer coming from that torch, and then a block here. On the side of that block going toward the middle we want another piston, like so. And then we want to copy what we have here. So, torch, observer, block, and piston facing toward the middle on the side, like that. And then on our last one, we don't want a torch, no, we just want a regular observer, like that. Then a repeater from that dot on one tick, then a block here, one here, one up, remove that block, and dust. And surprisingly, that's all the redstone completely done. So when we press the button, we just see it going around in a cycle like so. And now just to finish it off, we just need to add some decoration blocks. So what I like to do is place blocks around like this, just various colors, going round, okay, and then we can have our flooring block on top like this, so cover up all the redstone if we want to, okay, and now we can give it a proper first test, so we just press the button here, and we should see our blocks cycle around clockwise, which they do, and everything's working perfectly, okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you how to do the memory lock down the bottom, so you can wire this up to a door, okay, to wire up the memory feed tape, what I want you to do is firstly come underneath here, and just remove this block entirely, like that. And instead of it, we want this slab here, and we want to place dust on it, like that. Okay, then I want to grab a piston, and place it here, which should extend. Then on the back of that piston, we want a torch, and it should turn off. On the side of that uh, torch, we want a piston here, and it should not extend yet, okay? Then we want an observer here, whoops, not there, <laughs> here on the side of that piston, and the dot should be going toward the right if we look at it like this, and then a block in front of it like that. Then we want to grab a piston and place it toward that piston. Okay, now we need to place in our piston feed blocks. So we need four on this side, one, two, three, four, and then we need four on this side, but we don't want a block here. So miss out that block and place it here, two, three, and four, like that. Then a temporary block here, one out, remove that block, piston facing inward, like that. From that piston we want an observer, so the dot should be coming out like that. Block here, and then we want to grab a piston and place it here, like so. Then lastly, grab a torch, place it there, two blocks, and dust on both, like so. Okay, now you want to actually set your lock. So wherever you want your lock to be, so for example, I want the grey to be, say, for example, in the top right corner. I need to set it like that, so this would now be correct. And now I come down here, and I remove this block, and I place a furnace instead of that block, and I put any old block in the furnace. So if I wanted that grey to be in the bottom right, for example, I would cycle it round till the grey is there, and then I'd place the furnace in. Okay, so after you've done that, place a block here, one down, remove that block, comparator which should turn on because it is right, <laughs> and then a block here, one up, and a torch here. Now the reason I put the torch is what I'll explain to you in a second. Now the reason we have the torch there is because at the moment our lock is correct. Now that usually gives a on output, as you can see this comparator is on. Now the reason we have the torch is to turn that output on off because most doors, I say most, <laughs> the majority of doors will open 
when the input is off and they close when the input is on. So we want our unlock state to be off. So for example, this two by one piston door here, at the moment you can see it is open because there is no power going through it. So if I just wire this up in the most simple way I know how, <laughs> uh, something like this. Okay, so at the moment these are wired up, but they are open because our output is off. So as soon as our furnace moves, when we move this round, our output turns off, which turns on our torch, which closes the door, as you can see. And it will stay closed until we have the right combination again. So one more press. And then the door should open, as you can see. Perfect. But now we have come to the end of this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video or like this design, please give us a like. And if you really loved it, make sure you subscribe with that wonderful subscribe button for more awesome content. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next one. And I'll see you later. Bye.